So we have finally made it to part three of this whole refresh of my collection. And today is going to be very much out with the old and with the new. I'm going to be getting rid of some plants that I want to rehome or maybe just let go of. I started doing this in the first part when I was cleaning off the two shelves. I have this one left. And then in the second part, the new is going to be a terrarium. So I'm going to be making a terrarium for the first time using a product from Plant Life Lex. It's a new product that she has on her shop. Shout out to Lex. Thank you so much for sending me this to try out. So I'm going to share with you guys how I make my terrarium. So for me, there's not much to get rid of on my top shelf because that contains a lot of my propagations, but there's definitely things to get rid of on this shelf. This Calithia. This was a part of the um, big box rescue that we did a few months ago. I just stopped ordering it because I didn't care anymore. <laughs> I have this Enjoy here as well that I was just kind of letting vine around in a circle on this shelf, which was kind of cool at first, but I don't really love the plant, you know, and I do have two other Enjoys already. So this I think I'm going to just throw away because it's just, I mean, come on now. <laughs> it's yeah i don't think anyone wants this one long liner of a enjoy so we're gonna throw this out most likely this syngonium i do want a gift i think it's really cute i just don't love it again it was a part of a project and we rehabbed her she looks lush and beautiful i think someone else would really enjoy her this bottom shelf unfortunately houses several forgotten about plants <laughs> this being one of them um, I think I was originally putting this together for the plant wall and it did not flourish. Same as this Juan Ocardi Road. I have one already on a pole. So this also has this one here. I think I can pop this together to give to someone. I think they'll like it. This is most likely going to go in the trash. And then I have this Syngonia Macrophylla back here. I'm not ready to give it away even though I really don't ever look at it <laughs> or do anything with it i think it just hasn't had its time to shine in my collection yet so i'm gonna let it sit there for a little bit longer so let's get to getting rid of or rehoming these plants so we can get to the terrarium because that's what i'm really excited about okay i'm gonna do the trash ones first because that's gonna be quicker i'm gonna trash this begonia just because it's super bleached it doesn't look great and i'm pretty sure it had a had or has a history of spider mites so i don't really want to gift that to somebody i think it's safe to say we can trash this calathea or maranta i've been calling it calathea oh my god maranta same difference both complicated oh why did i do that that was not smart yeah, this little shovel came in handy okay team you true we're gonna trash this as well well, I hate to throw out this pond, but it's completely... Oh, why did I do that? I shouldn't have thrown out this pond. I instantly regret it throwing this pond into here. Pond is too expensive to be doing that. What is wrong with me? I'm a psycho! It is completely full of roots, though. Alright, I think that's it for the trash. Not bad. Now, to move on to this pothos here. I'm thinking that I can chop and restart this as a fuller plant to maybe prep it for the wall one day <laughs> i just don't want to do the same thing i did and not ever get back to it let's see this still looks pretty good and it's honestly really pretty so if i don't have much left on this vine that looks good then i have no reason to keep it this grew roots, but not that much. It is does have an active growth point down there, so, hmm. but it doesn't look good. I'm not gonna keep this mandula, which makes me sad because I love the mandula. I think I'm just gonna have to start with a new mandula. I mean, this mandula, okay, let me try. I'm gonna try again because I really like the mandula. It was really pretty. This we can cut into a few pieces. This is rooted. I mean, I could just put this into a pot like this and maybe put it together with those cuttings. Okay. 
did that with this. I just consolidated what was in here. So the decent looking pieces, there is a Marble Queen and a Mandula in here. We'll water this pretty quickly because all of these came out of water. Next is the Syngonia Milano Cardis. This I definitely want to give away to someone. Um, so it's in water. I'm going to put it into moss most likely, maybe with a little bit of this at the bottom. Okay, she's cute. She's cute. I hope someone likes it. I, ha I know I want to give it to, so I think they're going to like it. The other thing I have is this little album. I have, I want to give this to the same person. It's a friend that I know that they really like plants as well. And so I think these are two cute little things to give away. The last thing that I want to give away or deal with is this, oh, there's two actually. So let me do the other one first, this one's smaller. This Syngonium, I just want to put it into regular soil and take back my glass pot and my Leca. Mm, yeah, the root system isn't that big, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I should probably rinse this out. I mean, dirt is dirt. Is it really that serious? I don't think so. So moss at the bottom and to plug the hole that's down here because I don't have any more mesh that I usually put. All right, so maybe I should put a stake. Very good. Okay. So these three probably are going to the same person. This one in the Lanocardi and this Syngonium. Oh, they're getting a whole little Syngonium family. I didn't even realize that. Cute. <laughs> now, this one I can make several plants for several people out of. I'm gonna be chopping this back and making little pots, so I will have to root these. Oh my God, the camera is crooked. How long has it been crooked like that? <sighs> I swear I didn't put it up here crooked. How annoying. So what I want to start these in. I'm just going to take various little pots and start them in that. Little cups and pots. I think I'm only going to make three. Two or three. There's two people I definitely want to give one to. I don't know the third person just... Oh, I do. I know what third person I want to give it to. Okay, so I want to make three. So I want each person to have three plants in them so that I can have two nodes in the soil. I always want to have two nodes in the soil. Oh, I didn't know that was that way. Okay, okay. Well, we can do it like that. Give all of that stone. One. And I want each person to have a top cut. Oh, this branched off. Ooh. Oh, that is such a close cut. We're just gonna have to do this like that, which is fine. Do it like that. There's two more stalks. A lot of plant here should definitely be able to make three yes, this is kind of awkward mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's too tall but i don't think there's enough here to make two actually like there is but there isn't not two full cuttings this is going to look too gangly i'm not going to like it so do it like that and we'll just throw this out Same thing with this one. Nah, actually I could make this too. Let's do it. Get rid of that one. There you go. All right, we got all of our cuttings. This is what's left. I'm not keeping this. One of the people I want to give it to is a little boy. So I'm going to give him the smallest one. He likes plants. And he showed me his cucumbers that he was growing. It's so cute. So I'm going to give him this. So again, I will root these before I give them away. I'm not just gonna give them to them like this now, especially because with this mix, um, you do have to stay on top of watering it. And now that I think about it, I'm not sure where I'm going to put these because the spot that I usually put um, plants to be rooted is full of the plants for the perlite. Um, what's that called? Perlite tree fern fiber versus, which I am working on and it's in the works. It's already started. I've already started documenting. 
But uh, I say all that to say that spot is taken. So I don't know where I'm gonna put these. Okay, I'm gonna water all of these really, really well. Put them in a good spot. All right, so that's it. We've gotten rid of a lot of old plants. Now let's get to the new plants. So we are now getting into making the terrarium using a case provided by Plant Life Lex. Thank you again, Lex, for sending this to me. I'm really excited to do this project. It's really in line with the creative vibes that I've been feeling these days. So this is a acrylic case and apparently it's very versatile. So let me open it up and show you guys. Okay, so it's a good size. It's a really good size. It's a little card as always. She always provides cards in her orders, her business card where you can contact her. And then acrylic plant display let's see let me move my dirty mat out of the way nice okay this is a big size this is great okay yeah i'm about to say how i'll put this together i need to scan this code for the directions let me pull up the instructions because i can tell you right now i'm not gonna be able to figure this out I'm glad she provided these instructions though, because your girl would be lost. Okay. Let's see. Mm. 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 Mm -mm. <laughs> Dead. All right, so I just airdropped the instructions to my laptop because my phone is using, is recording. So oh, let's see, seven pieces. The smallest is number one. Oh, there's two number ones. Two number ones. Rule number one in assembling anything, get your parts together. Number twos. There's only one number three, which is looks like it's the biggest one. Two. Mm. Hmm. Okay, one has a lid, so this must be number five. I think that's number four and this is number three. Okay, we are in order. So put your two number ones, which are these smallest tiny ones on the sides and your two number twos on the top and the bottoms. Two number twos, which one are number twos? The other two small ones? Mm. Oh, these ones. Are. So the number twos are longer. They go on top. Okay. Oh, this way. Okay. Okay. They just snap on, I guess. Lock. Oh, it does lock. I'm an idiot. Okay, it locks. Lock it in, guys. Don't be like me. There are little snaps in here that lock in. And once you sit it in, you just have to press it in. Oh my God, I'm such a dummy. Okay. Don't let me. Okay. And then, same thing. Once you get it in, you have to press it into the lock. There you go. Okay, so pushing it up under here works well. I felt that one snap. I just need this one to snap. There we go. All right. So there is locking mechanisms on the corners. You just have to press it in with your thumbs to lock it in. They don't just sit, they lock in. It's definitely going to be sealed tight. Now, number three. Is there two number threes? There's one number three and it's the biggest piece. Mm. Oh, this is on the lid. <laughs> they ain't both big. Oh, this is three, okay. In my hand, I'm done. Okay. <laughs> it goes on the back. So again, this must lock in on these little P corners here. 
Okay, you just have to make sure you snap it in properly. Good. Make sure there's nothing on here messing up my box. Okay. Now, after number three is the frame. Number four. this is nice okay okay and then number five which is the lid you can see the hinges are on this side oh i'm scared i'm gonna break the hinges how do i get it in here without breaking it oh no oh no oh, okay here we go so slide it back. Okay, so once you get one end in, slide back the other corner. Cool, so this is it. Okay, nice, nice strong magnet there. Okay, I like this a lot. I've already dirtied it from my table, but very cute. So in my mind, I imagined making this a tall terrarium. I think I'm still gonna do that. I'm excited. Okay. Ooh! Okay. The only reason I'm second guessing is because I'm supposed to put a layer of Lekka at the bottom and I don't have enough lip here. So. Mm, that doesn't give me enough lip either. I might have to do it this way. But. Uh, I think it's. We can cut it down. We can cut it down. Okay. So because of the nature of me making this a terrarium i'm gonna use it flat so that i have a lip at the bottom to place the leka and the different layers and such i hope i have enough charcoal because i feel like i don't but so this is it i really like this it's a nice quality it's sturdy this magnet is super strong so it's definitely sealed the way these corners lock and seal this this thing is sealed ain't nothing coming out there well, i have it upside down there we go <laughs> speaking of it can be styled many different ways you can have it vertically like this horizontally like this or you can do it flat you can literally do anything with this it has the magnetic door so it's 100 percent seal so it's going to be great for props and or terrariums so is there anything else that you have to say sealable horizontal flat metal Oh, the last thing, it's stackable. So if you want to get multiples of these, you can make some cool arrangements or displays. Like I'm thinking like putting one like this, one like that, and one like, that would be fire. Especially if you had some cool anthurium seedlings in here. This is nice. I could see Koa using this. I feel like this is her vibe. I don't know. Thank you again, Lex, for sending this to me. If you guys are interested in this display case, it is on her website. I will put the link in the description below. Definitely check it out. It's a nice, quality, sturdy, sealable, gla well, not glass, but acrylic <laughs> container. Uh, but it's nice and sturdy, and it can be a very nice display for some plants. And it was easy to put together. It took less than five minutes. So before I bring you guys in closer, to make this room, I'm gonna show you the plants I'm gonna be using. I was pleasantly overwhelmed with all of the plants at Lowe's yesterday. I got this really cool begonia. I did see this the last time I was there. You guys might have seen it in that video. I was blown by this shivery begonia, so I got this. It's some type of Rex. Um, then I got a fern because I figured, oh crap it. There we go. I figured ferns would do well and I wanted something with a little height and I love the little wiry stems. So I thought this was cool. Rosy maidenhair fern. And I have a disc, disc, this, this color, this is this color that hates me. So maybe it'll like life in this prop box or terrarium. I have a piece of Sinbad begonia, begonium, <laughs> Sinbad begonia, begonia Sinbad. I have a Fatonia is this? Moon Valley Friendship Plant? Oh, this is a Pilea. Oh, the other one's a Fatonia. I got this because look at the texture. I love the texture of this Pilea. I think it's really cute. So I got this. I don't know if this will like a terrarium at, or not, but I just like the way it looked and I wanted some different texture. So I got that. This one is the Fatonia. 
and it's already looking crinkly and crispy and so I'm hoping that it's gonna like it in this um, box here so I wanted some color so that's why I got this pink one the things that I'm going to be using to make the terrarium Lekka Reservoir at the bottom this is supposedly charcoal oh I see it now okay <laughs> charcoal uh, to help reduce the incidence of mold we have some moss as well and a little bit of my soilless mix which is just cocoa chips um cocoa chunks perlite and there should be some moss some random leka as well and then i got a oops let's be careful i got some knickknacks and it's funny because as I was like looking for things at Dollar Tree, I was like, all right, I'm not gonna go full on like fairy, you know, thing, cause that's just not my vibe. But then it still kind of sucked me in. I got a mushroom. I did not want, like I literally went in saying, I'm not making a little fairy forest land mushroom with mushrooms and frogs. But then I saw this and I was like, it's so cute. So I got it. And then I got this frog. I'm there. I went all the way there. You got a frog. I really just went there for, these decorative rocks but that's how I ended up with those things and then I also found these little rocks here that say like I don't know home sweet home does it say something like that I'm only going to use the one that says love garden yeah I like the one that says love garden they're the ones I don't care about and then ooh, oh yeah I forgot I got this glass container and then on the way out there was like this area with rocks and plants and I just picked up these little random rocks from outside I really wanted a piece of wood but I'm in Dallas, Texas. There's no trees. Or very little trees, I should say. The only other thing that's recommended to put in a terrarium that I don't have is a mesh layer at the bottom, I think over the LECA or and or charcoal to put a barrier so that it doesn't get too murky and muddy. I forgot, so I don't have that. So we're just going to start with LECA at the bottom. Oh, let me change the angle for y'all. <laughs> I got excited and carried away. So I think when I have it displayed, I want this to be the front like this. So I'm gonna kind of turn it. Mm. Mm. It's about to be all the left. Dang! Oh my left It's definitely not gonna be enough charcoal, but that's okay. I could fix the charcoal in the soil. <coughs> I think that's what I'll do. Because this is just a flat layer of charcoal. That's not enough. So I'm going to mix it into this soil mix. Probably gonna use up the rest of this. We're gonna have to get a damp paper towel <coughs> to wipe down the sides. Let me do that. Why didn't I wet it down? That would have been the smart thing to do. I do want to have some height in some areas and not in other areas. Just kind of building out the landscape, how I'm thinking in my head. I'm a little concerned though. <laughs> it's too tall. Let's take it out and see. Okay, we can chop some of these roots. We can chop the roots in half. That's still not enough though. Okay, so what we'll do is just take some pieces of it is what we'll do. And then we have this that we want to put in here. So I really don't have much of an idea of how I want this. I'm just trying to get a like a visual maybe of what okay i want this to be one of the tall plants i want the maiden hair to be one of the tall plants i just have to chop it down 
And then I think I'm gonna separate the Fotonia. This is already really full, interestingly. That's so cute, I can't take it. This is too big. Good thing it was only a dollar. I'm gonna break up this mane in here for, this is the one, this is like my favorite. I really want this plant to be in here and I want it to look nice in here, but it is so tall already. I think I can just cut it back. Or just take a couple of bunches off of it. I just don't know how it grows. So I'm just breaking it up to see how it grows. Okay, this is all one plant. <laughs> it's all, yeah, it's all together, okay. Okay, not what we expected, but it's okay. Yeah, you definitely really need to start with small plants and I did not do that. I thought I was starting with small plants, but obviously I was not. So I'm just cutting off the tippy top tall pieces, even though that's what I love about it. Just to see if I can get it to be in here some sort of kind of way Maybe cut off. so i'm just trimming back the super tall pieces okay that's good all right we got the first one placed but not planted next i would like this begonia to be up in here real cute Am I not in the center? Can you guys even see what I'm doing? Goodness gracious. I'm gonna have to turn it kind of like that. Maybe I should move you guys to being behind me instead. Would that be helpful? I've never recorded from this angle before, so I hope it's okay. So basically what I'm doing is just taking off the excess and cutting the roots in half in order to make room for them. Well, this one I didn't even have to cut in half. I was able to just loosen the bottom half of the substrate. <laughs> it's gonna have no room. Okay, I'm gonna have to separate this off. So I just separated it into two and I think I'm gonna take this tall one off even though it's so beautiful. It's ripped anyways. Put it like that so it'll fit better and actually have room to grow unlike the maiden hair fern. I think I might make a wall of this because I really like this plant. It's just so tall already. <coughs> okay. So we have a little begonia garden back here. This is the other tall piece. And then we have this Sissus Discolor, which hates me. Rooted, but hates me. Might as well keep this. I just, I'm gonna just randomly place this in here. I don't know what it's gonna do. I hope that it does something. We shall see. I love this little thing there. I think that's so cute. We definitely don't have room for everything. This is already kind of full. <clears throat> I randomly placed this other begonia here, this Simbad. I love this made in here, friend. The Fatonia. What we might end up doing is just taking a small piece off of it and putting it like right in this corner. I kind of want to leave this front area with n almost nothing in it. Hmm. We'll see. Oh my God, when did my bag rip? How unfortunate. Did y'all ever read that book, Series of Unfortunate Events? That was like the only book I liked to read as a kid. I, fun fact about me, I hate reading. So I'm just gonna take this little tiny piece here, give it a little pop of green over here. I do have some rocks I'd like to start placing. Did I call this a Fatonia again? <laughs> Bag of rocks from 
to Dollar Tree. <clears throat> I don't really have a design in mind. I think I just would like to kind of, when I do decorative things, I really like them to be kind of effortless looking and almost kind of like very natural. Like, oh, that was just kind of put, like it wasn't put there, it just happened to be there. So I don't really need like any type of like trail or anything like that. I do want to put maybe a rock next to the scissors. The scissors. I think this is cool. It has some different tones to it. So maybe back up here behind this, and maybe it'll grow up and around it or something. Oops, sorry, I hit the mirror with my elbow. I mean the mirror, <laughs> the camera with my elbow. This is kind of facing this way. And it'll have this kind of tan backdrop against this dark foliage. If it decides to grow at all for me. Okay. I like this. I do want a little more of these, but let me put the Fotonia somewhere. So I just separated one off. And I think I actually want to put it along the back too. I kind of want to have a back wall of foliage. And I think it'll be nice behind this rock. So I'm going to dig out a little space back there. <clears throat> put this there and then I can put a little more moss up around the back of it. Okay. And then we have the little tinier ones here, like the Sisses and the Simbad. Okay, we can put more. I think I wanna put like kind of a row of these little plants here. And I have a little brush that I can use to. Oh, this is so cute. Let me dig out a little spot for you. Okay, and then we'll put some moss around the top of everything. I think that's it. I don't think I wanna put any more of these. I feel bad only using that little bit of the Fatonia, but I don't have anywhere else that I feel like I wanna put it. Put a couple more of these. Actually, I'm gonna do moss first. Just putting this up behind the Fatonia to stabilize it and to give it a little more security. I wanted to get some, um, what is it? There's a certain kind of moss that I've seen people recommend for this and it grows nice and green and pretty. I mean, this might come back alive, but it may not. This is actually really good moss. I don't know why I thought this was cheap bad moss, but it's really good. I don't want to cover the whole thing. I just want to cover some areas. All right, now that everything is covered the way I would like, I do want to put a couple of more, just drizzle a couple of more rocks here and there. Oh, well, that's how nature wanted it to be, so we don't leave it. Okay. Now I'm going to give everything a good water. I want to dust this off. Where's my little brush? I give this sisters two days. Matter of fact, one day. I'm surprised it's still alive so far. Okay. All right. I really like this. I think it looks so cute. All right. I'm going to use this here to kind of help me clean the sides. It's definitely taller. The plants are taller than I would have <laughs> liked it to be, but it's okay. This sprayer has in it um, fertilizer. You don't have to use fertilizer. It's just what's in my sprayer, so that's why I'm using it. And it's an easy way to just kind of clean off the sides to make it look real nice. And then I'm gonna give it a nice spray down. I don't, I'm not gonna be leaving a reservoir. I'm just, because these plants, I don't, mm, I don't know. This is my first time, so I'm not gonna leave a reservoir. I'm just dampening everything really good. And I'm most likely going to put it on my TV stand. Well, the table that's under my TV, that's on the wall. 
because it gets light, but not a lot of light. It's back from the window. Oh, I have my little love garden stone. Hold on, we have to find a spot for you. Okay, we have the frog on that side, so we have to put the love garden on this side. Oh, oh wait, so I want an extra begonia. Oh, I love it. The photonia, I mean, the friendship plant is kind of in the way, but I love this. Oh my gosh, guys. I don't know why I'm just doing this for the first time, but I absolutely love this. Thank you so much, Lex, for sending this to me. I literally cannot get enough of this. Let me wipe it down. I'm just using a damp paper towel. Not sure how long this fern's gonna be able to stay in here. I probably just have to trim it back within the next one to two weeks, depending on how it grows. My little frog. I am a little sad that my mushroom didn't fit, but it's okay. It's colorful, it's pretty. I wanna get that out. There's like a little bit of loose stuff here. 10 out of 10 recommend this case from Lex. Super cute. I'm gonna set it up on its little spot so y'all can get a good view of it. This is such a cute centerpiece for my table. I literally love this. Oh my God. This is so freaking cute. Okay, let's get a close up. So this is where I have my case living. My window is there, so it is quite a ways away from the window, but trust, it is gonna get a good amount of light. Pretty sure if all goes well, we'll be having to cut this back pretty soon. But I'm not gonna lie, I didn't want it to look super empty either, so let me try to get off the glare. It's gonna be hard to get rid of the glare being that the sun is shining. Okay, there we go. Um. As much as I would want these plants to stay here for a long time, I did also want it to look full at the same time. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna be doing some trimming pretty soon, but that's okay. I really, really love how this is looking. Let me open it up here, get a closer look at all the beautiful little plants in here. It looks so good. In love, I love this fern, I think it's perfect. I didn't want it to look empty, so I'm really happy with the way it looks, but I also know that when you fill it in the beginning, it's <laughs> it's gonna be hard to maintain it, but I hope these all of these plants love this spot. Most of these plants here, I believe, are medium light plants, but they don't mind higher humidity, like the begonias for sure. Maiden hair ferns do like to be consistently um, moist, so we'll see that. That little sister's in there. Yeah. I'm gonna have to say rest in peace to that because I don't know how that's gonna go. If I see that things are starting to decline, I may move it a little closer to my window. Not sure how I'm gonna do that, but or just close to light in general. But for right now, this is where it lives. So that is it, guys. We've completed my refresh. I don't know if I want to call this a summer refresh. It's pretty late in the summertime, but I think this is something I'm going to do once a year because I really enjoyed it. And it gives me a time to kind of like really focus on refreshing my collection, getting rid of things that I don't really love, making some adjustments. It was a two week long project um, actually doing it, but it took months in the making in terms of like the plant wall and stuff. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. Take this as a helpful nudge to refresh your collection. It is okay to get rid of plants or rehome plants if you're just not loving them anymore or you're feeling overwhelmed. I feel like it renews or rejuvenates my love for my plants, especially with my box here now. I love that I can see it from my bed. It just looks so beautiful where it's at. And yeah, I'm just really happy. I'm very, very happy. So all of this is leading up to a new houseplant tour. So I definitely will be recording a new houseplant tour. I would like to do one every year because my collection changes so much. So stay tuned for a new houseplant tour coming soon. See you guys in the next one.